Hi everybody, this is Thomas from Tool.io and I want to give you a quick uh, sneak preview of a feature I've been working on for the last couple of days, which I think uh, it's pretty neat. So one of the biggest problems we have with all these operators that we created so far is that it's super hard to figure out like how they work and what they are actually capable of doing. And so we wrote the operations panel here. Um, right now it shows presets, later it will do much more, but let's start with, uh, with the presets for now. And so the idea is that uh, you can see as I'm hovering over these presets, we see how they are being applied, how we see how the par parameters would affect these settings. And we see this is one Ryoji pattern here, uh, creates like a big wide variety of different effects. And this is already nice, but uh, of course you could um, say we want to have like a new effect here, like a digital snow or something. So we can just create a new digital snow and it will nicely fit in here. We can rearrange it and maybe sort these for like graphical or animation patterns or whatever. Um, we can also hold the Alt key which will allow us to blend or partially apply these presets. So this also gives us like a, like a really nice way of like, like figuring out like different things this operator can do. And then like last nice thing is like if you select three or two operators and we hold Alt, you can actually blend between like these three operators here. So in this case, it gives us like super crazy effects, but some are actually like interesting and might be things you wouldn't have discovered otherwise. And we created uh, presets for a bunch of operators, not all of them, but quite a bit. One thing that's also nice is that um, like the visualization is updated live. So, um, if we take the primary output window, so if you pin this here by pressing P, and we can actually go through like different shades of like these things. One thing that I really like is that, um, so we couldn't, for instance, say, okay, if we have uh, like these, these three here, so we can actually shade between these. Maybe let's quickly avoid the displays of a waiter here. So we can actually see like, can explore different uh, parameter sets for the materials. Yes, um, um, so it doesn't ne necessarily have to be uh, image operators. It can also be things like this random camera operator, where we have like, uh, let's say, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, a, like a drunken mosquito thing here, or like some crazy rotation thing. Um, and it can be also like functional things. Like, let's say you want to have like different uh, render target sizes. Sometimes you need this for FX programming. So, um, or like change the clear color or change this to transparent, things like that. So um, I think um, this would be a great help of making things more discoverable. Um, it definitely will help me uh, whenever I'm creating a new effect to create a bunch of presets and see how versatile the effect is and test out the parameter ranges better. I hope you like this. Uh, tell me what you think. Write a comment um, and join us on Discord or GitHub. Thanks.